Hello and welcome to Baltimore. Uh, thanks to Drupal Association and the community uh, for hosting this year's uh, DrupalCon NA at uh, this beautiful place. Everything is good uh, except one thing, um, it's rain. All right, so uh, we're going to talk about the content strategy and we are going to touch a bit of UX and the relation between them. I know uh, there is much that needs to be talked and they, that can be talked about both of them, but uh, I just have 25 minutes. I will try to make a balance between it. Okay. Uh, my name is Junan Masudi. Uh, I'm, I'm a front-end developer. Uh, I work at Acquia and I'm having interest in both usability and content strategy lately. So giving sessions here and there about them. Uh, last time I gave a session in Dublin on MVP, uh, sorry, uh, UX for MVP. And I have come from a very beautiful place that's called as Kashmir. It's on the north topmost India. And uh, we call it Switzerland of Asia. So um, I encourage everyone to come there and see uh, it's very beautiful. <clears throat> when we talk of the content strategy, uh, the first thing that comes to mind uh, is the content, right? Everything and I mean, say content is everything and everywhere, uh, from image, from words, uh, articles, voice activated commands, chatbots, be it infographics or anything, any media, uh, content is there. I mean, say, uh, if anything has an ability to project itself or influence the understanding, to me it is content. Or if it serves the needs of us, uh, if it serves the need of people, uh, to me that's a content. So for content strategy, there is not even a particular definition. There are thousands of definitions around content strategy. I tried to cherry pick two of the definitions. One is uh, strategic creation of text imagery, audio or video that delivers a relevant and interesting message to a user. Uh, while at the same time, it's inclined towards sales. So that's content strategy. But this is a bit of a marketing strategy type. Uh, the other one is that I took from Wikipedia that says the planning, development, and management of content. And I came up with a definition of content strategy. To me, content strategy is a framework for delivery and governance of a useful and uh, usable content. Uh, I think uh, I tried to do justice with this term. Uh, I think. Uh, that's, that's actually what content strategy means to me. Uh, we have thousands of words around. Uh, Im imagine it's like a box and we put the words there and you know we come up with some beautiful definitions. And the box itself is a framework. So to me, content strategy is a framework. <coughs> okay. Uh, and this outlines the uh, production of content as a journey from its uh, initial concept of uh, user utilization to the, uh, to the end uh, user interaction. So who are content strategists? Uh, it's a relatively new discipline and there's a plenty of debates of whether there is a need of this title or not. Uh, but let's talk actually who content strategists are. When I think of the content strategy, there are several terms that comes to my mind. Uh, one is meaning, accuracy, relevance, usable, and sharing. Anyone can write great content, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he's a content strategist. You know, uh, if you write a good blog or a good Facebook post or a Twitter post, that doesn't mean you're a good content strategist. A content strategist is one who uh, studies and outline the objectives, then undertake them prop appropriately. Sorry. Uh, and with relevance, uh, our brave soul content strategist is. Okay. Today, content strategy has taken a new curve, a new learning curve, uh, and is a process that ensures that the content that we publish, and then we are able to edit it, then again republish it, then repurpose it, and archive at the same time. It is a process even that uh, plans ahead for content that needs to be appear in the multiple laces. <clears throat> There's a team uh, out there uh, at the Brain Traffic. They have come with a content strategy components, uh, which is liked by the community, and they turned the name into Content Strategy Card. 
So uh, it's around two things. One is content, another is people. So we write content for people and people write content. So they are, they are interrelated. So uh, the first thing uh, in this content strategy card is uh, substance. Substance comes in the content component and it refers to the message, the voice, and the types of the content. In the second, the second quadrant, which is from the people's, uh, which is from the people's component, it's the workflow. The workflow uh, is a content uh, a workflow. Work, uh, sorry, the workflow a content strategist creates uh, will explain the process and the tools that we need to edit and create the content, and uh, <clears throat> even maintain and archive the same content. Then the third one is the governance. Uh, Governance is very closely linked to the word workflow because uh, the uh, the content we have from we have got from the workflow is to be governed. Uh, there are uh, uh, in the uh, sorry, governance is closely uh, connected to the workflow uh, because it refers to the hierarchy of the decision and uh, the decision makers as well as the communication uh, structure within the team. So uh, the content that comes through the workflow goes to the team uh, pe of people uh, who, who tells uh, what needs to be there and what needs to be eradicated. Last and not the least is the structure, uh, which comes in the content component again. <clears throat> content strategies often uh, determine the structure of a content by researching and working with dev teams to select the appropriate technology for a site or an app. Uh, they often set up a metadata or uh, tagging necessary for personalization experiences for seamless experiences. It should be noted that while uh, many content strategists just, you know, do mastery in one of the four quads, but it is very important that if anyone getting started in this field to understand how four fit together. <clears throat> then we have, um, the common methodologies while we talk about the content strategy. Content strategy can impact many aspects of user experience. Uh, the only apparent commonality is that the content strategy deals with content. That said, uh, the methodologies that make up the very widely, I cherry picked some of them and here they are. One is omnichannel, you know, uh, with the advent of iPhone, um, with yeah, with the advent of iPhone, uh, people started to cre curate content for the web and for the mobile, uh, you know, uh, in different forms. Uh, before that, it, it was it was the same con it was the same content that we used Gowan for mobile devices or you know uh, the desktop devices. Then the uh, there con comes the concept of uh, omni-channel. It's the understanding and optimization for the entire journey ac across all channels. That you know we need to show, be it a desktop, be it a mobile, be it a tablet, or any other thing, even if it is a print media. So, then the other term is planning and marketing. Uh, the first definition that I came uh, that I gave about content strategy uh, was related to the marketing strategy because. Everything you know governs around the marketing strategy. So yes, this is one of the methodologies that we need to keep in mind. While content uh, strategies focus on the content that creates an experience, uh, rather than how to market that experience, there is a lot that uh, we have learned from the field of marketing. And the third one is uh, content governance. <clears throat> Since the content strategist has the uh, big picture view of the publishing process, editorial guidelines, and the omni-channel needs. There are uh, in the best position to recommend and gov uh, recommend a governance model that maintain the quality of the experience. Then uh, we have an information architecture. Well, information architecture is not a methodology. Uh, it will be very injustice to say it is a methodology. It is a field in its own contents, even content strategy, uh, uh, borrows the learning from the uh, information architecture. In order to prioritize the content, create navigable sitemaps, and ultimately help users find the information that they need in the places where they want that. And then there is the core strategy. Uh, core strategy means, uh, for some of the content strategists, core strategy means everything. And for others, it means a process. And <coughs> Uh, 
and for others it means a process. Uh, a process of creating a core strategy is also a task in itself. When, um, if this is the case, if uh, content strategy thinks that this is one of the common methodology, then the content strategy uh, work results in the content strategy report, uh, which identifies content issues, recommendation, priorities, and future uh, timelines to update the content structure and substance. Last, not but the least, uh, is the branding. Uh, because our whole of the user experience and content strategy revolves around this thing, so branding is the last thing, but it needs to be there from the very beginning. <clears throat> so then, uh, user experience. Uh, while we talk of the content uh, strategy, we talk of the user experience as well. So for me, user experience means, uh, user experience is the language of UI, actually. It communicates and it tells us about the UI. In, uh, the UI can't speak on its own, so we have the user experience that tells about the content strategy. Um, sorry, UX. Uh, user experience is a broad category uh, which encompasses all aspects of production from a small button design to the caption up to the navigation. It is also present in a very uh, stage of product development to create a very smooth uh, experience for the target audience. In my opinion, UX has to be there from the very beginning. Uh, in my previous talk where I spoke about uh, a uh, user experience has to be there from the uh, very beginning when we are creating a minimum viable product. So I think uh, content strategy too has to be there. And uh, yeah. UX heroes Nielsen and Norman stated it the best. In order to achieve a high quality user experience in the company offerings, there must be seamless merging of the services from multiple disciplines be it technology, uh, be it engineering, be it marketing, be it graphical, be it industrial design or interface design. Uh, because user experience is the vo voice of end user. Now, uh, where the relation is between the UX and the content strategy. Though uh, user experience and content strategy seem to have similar goals, there's a much conflict. Uh, when it comes to the actual ex execution. There are often battles between the UX and the content strategy teams, especially when it comes to the de design process. Sometimes uh, even adding the two extra lines can be a burden for whole of the, uh, you know, um, for the design and, you know, it can break whole of the design. So while we are designing anything, it, it's must needed that the content strategy should be there. So, but if, yeah, if we have user experience and content strategies work together, the synergic effect is much greater than simply resolving conflict, right? Yeah. Where content strategy is being benefited from UX and where UX is being benefited from content strategy. So, first thing is clarity and readability. User experience is all about creating sleek and seamless user flows keeping user experience clear but delightful. Uh, the same can be uh, applied to the content we deliver. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean uh, shortening of text or shortening of content, but make it more readable and more scannable. So this is, th th this is the place where content strategy and UX help each other. The second thing is focus on a user and it's the most important thing. Content strategy can be benefited uh, from applying the most important principle of the UX, that is putting the uh, user at the center. So, uh, so we get, uh, sometimes we get carried away by content research and copywriting that we completely forget that who we are addressing the, uh, and who our audience is. Uh, considering creating uh, user personas with the uh, UX team and keeping them in mind while curating uh, content, I'm sure that we will come up with a great design and great content strategy. And the third one is the conversion optimization. Here, uh, where content strategy comes in handy, uh, it helps find the optimal voice tone messaging to the uh, boost to boost conversation. So uh, there's a simple example uh, that I want to show how content strategy and UX go hand to hand. So. Here everything is strategized, the content is strategized. This is our uh, heading uh, that tells about us uh, the session. 
this is the author name that has to be there. This is whole of the content that's uh, there that tells about what session is all about. And this is the sidebar that gives us more information about the session. And this is, uh, yeah, this is the gap. It's not shown. So I think we can do, you know, some of the, see, uh, content strategy is already there, but I feel that there is a discard in uh, UX there. I did a small change and made it like this. So there is a spacing problem, firstly. Uh, that has to be there because when we uh, uh, strategize some content, so uh, we have to create the breaks between the content, what a user is seeing. And the other thing is uh, the sidebar. While, see, uh, if we see at the sidebar, it has the dark colors and the focus of the user goes there only. So while keeping the main content there. So we need to keep that also in mind while we are creating uh, some of the user experiences. So I think, yeah. Lastly, uh, but this is important, this is out of the session uh, that uh, I am closely touched with this thing, that's dementia. Dementia is a disease that's uh, taking 30% um, of the population this time uh, and it's growing alarmingly. Uh, who knows about dementia? Any? Okay. So, uh, it's a brain disease, it's a degenerative disease, uh, and uh, people are getting, you know, affected with this. Uh, the top disease, uh, among dementia, there are Parkin Parkinsonism, and the top disease is the Alzheimer's. And this is one of the, you know, uh, quotations uh, that's very close to my heart about Alzheimer's. I have three Alzheimer's patients at home, so I know how it feels like to be. So we need to help the ALS.org. Uh, so if we can, so these are our contribution sprints, and if you think anything about this session, so please tell me. Do you have any questions?